is my ingredients for hummus. I have a can of chickpeas, drained and rinsed. Then I'm gonna use some lemon, garlic, tahini, olive oil, and season it with salt and pepper at the end. We're also gonna learn about these two machines here, the food processor and the chopper. So with a food processor, you've got to make sure that it is assembled correctly. And that means the bowl of the food processor goes on here. You can see it's got some grooves there where it clicks in and then the handle sticks straight out, sort of clicks in here. Then the blades, you can see that's got a hexagon shape um, bar there. And so this part needs to fit on there and it should fit on precisely and not be skew or slightly lifted. On your lid, it's got that bit here sticking out. That needs to go into the groove right there. And then it clicks in. And only when your food processor is properly assembled will it actually work. So now plug this in and I turn it on. You can see it's fine. If now, let's say this part here was not properly in, then it wouldn't actually work as a safety feature. You have got this funnel here at the top where you can add more ingredients as you're chopping. Whereas of course the chopper, let's have a look at that next, does not have an opening. Now, same story here. The blades need to fit perfectly so that this is in the middle and this again will only fit together when it's done exactly right now. So right now I can see that's not sitting very flush so it's probably got an issue and there we can see down here with my blade that is not really sitting on there as it should. So give that a little turn, fit this part on. And then the rest is easy. Take the top bit. Again, you will see little grooves here and they need to go into these bits. It will only turn on if it's actually connected properly here. And then we press on here to make this work. So I'm gonna put in half the chickpeas in one, half in the other. So just a handful aside to garnish later and then 60 milliliters of oil. All right, then we're gonna add our other ingredients, one to two garlic cloves roughly chopped juice of a lemon and zest of about half a lemon and then three tablespoons tahini lemon stir your tahini before you use it because it tends to have an oily layer on the top This is really sort of the consistency you want. If it is a little bit coarse, you can always put in a little bit more oil if you have, or otherwise a little bit of water, and then use a spatula to get this out of the food processor into a bowl. Season it with quite a bit of salt and pepper, and then garnish with leftover oil and chickpeas, and there you have your homemade hummus.